Now, in a bid to secure climate justice and in a response to global warming, six Portuguese youths are making a powerful statement by taking 32 nations to the European Court of Human Rights. The bold move is a powerful reminder that the fight for climate justice knows no boundaries. The lawsuit comes in response to a 2017 catastrophic wildfire in Portugal. The wildfire killed over 100 people, leaving a lasting impact on the country. Now, considering the potential impact of the case, a Strasbourg-based court will examine the arguments on 27 September. Aged 11 to 24, young people are raising concerns over suffering from anxiety over their health. This as the climate that is getting hotter along with more natural disasters. They also said that breathing problems might be a risk to persist if the planet continues to warm like this. The youths are further arguing that excessive carbon emissions are violating, in particular, the right to life and the right to the respect of private and family life. Now, in support of these youngsters, the director of the Global Legal Action Network said, never before have so many countries had to defend themselves in front of any court anywhere in the world. Meanwhile, activists around the world are turning towards their national legal sanctuaries in order to force governments to tackle climate change. This is amid warnings that the world is unable to meet the 2015 Paris Agreement goals of limiting warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. This is not the first time a youth-led group is moving to court demanding climate justice. Earlier in August, a court in the US state of Montana ruled in favor of a group of youths they accuse the government of violating their rights to a cleaner environment. Now, on the other hand, two other climate cases involving France and Switzerland were examined by the European Court of Human Rights in March, though no, ruling ha no rulings have been issued yet. According to the UN Environment Progr Programme, the number of legal cases worldwide linked to climate cha challenges have doubled between 2017 and 2022.